Okay, we're going to be talking about some of our ancestors. There are three family lines, LaChance, Stores, and Murray. That was our names in past times. And why am I doing this, do you think? For you and your cousins. So that's my great-grandchildren and my grandchildren also. So we, we're going to learn some lessons about life. My great-grandfather immigrated from Canada to this country in 1863. Augustine, whom he married, immigrated in 1866. But at some point in time, he ran for mayor. He had filed for citizenship papers, and when he ran for mayor, they discovered that his citizenship papers were not finalized. So the papers were finalized in 1923, according to the record. I remember well Joseph Gilliam Lachance, my great-grandfather. He was one of the favorites in the family. Four generations of us, the fact that I was the first great-grandchild, the first grandchild, the first child, very spoiled and bratty of what I remember. I was the focus of their attention. Just to show a little bit about my great-grandfather's personality, he wrote a short note to the editor of the Times called, um, headlined it, a triple event. And he makes the statement while reading last night's Times, I note that Mr. A. A. Murphy, president of the Chamber of Commerce, spoke of the joint celebration, November 11th, of Armistice Day, and the 40th anniversary of this state's birthday, but he failed, through no fault of his own, to mention another great anniversary, which falls upon that day, and that is the fifth birthday anniversary of one of my great-granddaughters. We at least will make it not a double, but a triple celebration, signed Joseph G. Lachance. Also, when he ate dinner with us, he used his knife in the European uh, custom. He'd have his knife in his left hand and pushed the peas with his fork up onto this knife. And it looked like he was a sword swallower, balanced not a pea dropped off, <laughs> and shovel those down his, into his mouth. My grandmother would say, Dad, and then when he would drink his coffee, made a big, big scene about it. He knew that we were watching him, our eyes big, and he'd take his mustache and push it down into his mouth <laughs> and suck off whatever liquid was there. But he was a jewel. <laughs> My mother loved him so much. He. Um, when she was a child, he gave her a lovely tea set. And during an earthquake in California, and here she was up in her 70s, and the tea set wasn't enclosed in a glass case and was shaken off of the shelf, and she cried and cried because she'd carried that with her every place she went. It was the one thing she saved. She left all her furniture a couple of times and all of her possessions but that tea set was her favorite possession. My grandmother, who became Stores, maiden name Lachance, born in 1886. The, the French spelling of her name was E-M-A-L-I-E, Amalia. The English is Amelia. My grandmother, Lachance Stores, had, the, had such a tiny waist. 
she was corseted her waist is so tiny so uh, this was a picnic it, the custom of the day evidently was for boys and girls to be separate I find that amusing this the picnic must have been about 1902 she lived on Bainbridge Island in Rolling Bay with her father and her, and her mother.